Here we have a 2012 Lexus GX460. It comes with a beautiful Knights nice Armor Pearl. And then we have Ecru perforated leather interior. And the powertrain on this one is gonna consist of a 301 horsepower, 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8. Made it to a six speed automatic transmission. And then this one also comes with four wheel drive. But coming around to the front end here, I love the look because it looks sophisticated but it also doesn't look dated. And this was actually held up over the years. Headlamps, fog lights here, and then just a few rock chips on the front. This one just has a little bit over 78,000 78, miles. So pretty impressed there. Wheels are still in great shape. Those are 18s. And then we have the molded side steps, passive keyless entry on the front. We have one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors, a rear window lock there, power door lock controls here, and then memory seat functions. You can just set, immediately hold the seat you want to set to, and then it'll beep at you when it's ready. And then it looks like you can make it three bottle holders, but two here, and then additional storage there. And then we have our power mirror controls here, left side, right side, you can offset in the middle. You can adjust using this dial, and then you can fold the mirrors in, as well as Pull them out there. Brightness for the gauge cluster can be adjusted here. Your trip meter can be adjusted between A, B, and then the odometer. And then you have traction control, toggle, gas cap, hood, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And then here we have our power driver seat with power lumbar support. Just a little bit of fading on this side here, getting in and out, I'm sure. And the leather, if you look closely, is just a tag crack, but Usually these outlast the interiors by far. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of myself being six foot three with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out this second row space. So pretty good room in here, honestly. I'm like I said, six three. And my knees, when they're just back here, barely the like the hairs on my kneecaps are what's touching this seat. They're not actually touching the seat. But it helps that I can also adjust that and when I sit up straight even more space so pretty impressed by that now down here we have our rear AC controls we can set that to an automatic mode if we want to fan speed can be adjusted here temperature can be adjusted here fan direction here and then you have two stage heated seats for the outboard seats high low and you can turn it off there now the center seat folds down cup holders are here And then we just have a little bit of wear on the door handle here from where it's been grabbed over the years. But everything else, I love that this feels so nice. But everything else in pretty good shape. And then the hanger hook here, we could probably hang two hangers on there if we need to. And then we can adjust the height of the seat belt back here as well. But let's see how these seats fold down. So to do that, pull up here. And then you can get it to fold flat if you need it for storage and pretty easy to just fold it back into place and then you can also use this to just fold it a little bit now behind the gas cap door here premium is required here you might be able to get away with that but gas cap there and sorry if it's getting a little loud out here. It's about rush hour, so cars are just zooming by. Now, as we open the back here, this does have a floor mat, but what's great is we have power for our third row seat. So we can fold that up and use that if we want to. And then a cup holder on either side. And obviously the kids were back here or they had a little storage compartment here and it got scratched up but here's a 120 volt two prong household plug-in and then actually first aid kits in here as well it's cool you can use that as like a little storage cubby if you want to And then this actually comes out as well, if you ever need to use that. And then again, there's a release there. 
to admire the back end a little bit. And there we have our spare tire. Well, we can use this as a tow hitch, I believe. There's the exhaust there. But there's a lot going on in here for it to be a smaller SUV, which I think it is in my opinion. There's our power front passenger seat, power lumbar, lockable glove compartment here. Pretty good storage size. And I love how that wood grain goes across there. Now, as we come back around to the front, let's go ahead and pop the hood. And it's mostly covered up, but it looks nice. There's that 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8. But now onto the Lexus goodies. Let's go ahead and take a look from the driver's seat. So I love the leather wrap steering wheel here and I love the wood grain that you get on the top and bottom of the wheel. And it makes it look so premium and it feels nice as well. Now over here to the radio, before I get to that, hazards are there. But as you get used to this radio, I've learned to love it. I used to not like the Toyota Lexus radios around this time, but it's a nice combination between using the touchscreen as well as the buttons that you have on the side here. So within this, you can actually zoom in and out. And then that's just the map itself. So type in a destination going here, and then you can use points of interest, the voice recognition destination, destination assist, and then you also can type in an address here based on the city or the street address, so on and so forth. And then you can even go to the search area there. So several different codes to use. So it'll just search for addresses in that particular zone, which is pretty neat. Again, once you get used to it, it actually is it's pretty cool. But you can do all that from there. And then you have presets, home. You can set up work, whatever, your kid's school. And then for the climate controls, you can actually, this is how you use the fan direction. You go in here and click, and then you can adjust the speed here. And then this is actually for your heated windshield wiper. So if it's for snowy conditions or whatever, you can use that and then that'll help if your windshield wiper gets covered in snow. Kind of serves as a defrost as well, so pretty cool. And then our setups in here, so Vehicle settings are in here. You can toggle your park assist there. And then you can turn the daytime running lights on and off, all of that. So it's pretty, there's a lot going on here. Tons of stuff that you can do. And then your general settings are right in here. You can adjust your language there. And then your unit of measurement down here if you want to go to kilometers from miles. And then your display, you can adjust the contrast. So depending on what you like and then brightness as well and you can even turn the whole screen off and then turn it back on and just hit one of these buttons now for audio you do get am fm satellite and bluetooth audio along with the cd player aux input and usb cable so to connect it pretty easy just hit connect and then it'll search for your device and then down here you can actually adjust your temperature for the ac for the driver front passenger and then you can automatically decide whether the vents are closed, open. If you put in that auto mode, it'll do it for you. And then you can turn your rear AC on and off. And then you have your rear defroster with your heated mirrors, front defroster. You can turn the whole fan system off here. And then you have your CD disc changer here, eject button, AM, FM, all that. You have your shortcuts as actual buttons down here. So I love how they did that. And you can actually stow it away and it looks more clean but three stage heated cooled seats for the driver front passenger and then you also have your downhill control there four wheel drive controls here and then for the shifter hold the brake reverse neutral drive and then you can come over here and manually shift then cup holders here which you can stow center console cubby space with a removable tray pretty good size there and then we do have a power tilt and sliding sunroof. So that's the tilt there. That's the slide and we can one touch slide that back. 
and it goes back pretty far. You can actually hit it twice and it opens all the way up. And what I'm just very impressed by this Lexus because a lot of these features everyone else is only catching up to here recently. Sunglass holder here. You have the rear mirror so you can keep an eye on all the kids and then you pull it down and then that's where they go there. But there's the view of the back seat from up here. Garage door transmitter in that rear view mirror. Close that back. And now to the steering wheel, blinkers are here. High beams are here. Turn them off, flash there. You can adjust your auto there, fog lights there, daytime running lights off. And then over here to the right side, you have your windshield wiper controls. So one time off, auto, low, high. You can adjust the sensitivity of your auto wipers here. Then you have your rear wipers there. So intermittent on, off, and then you go either way there for the rear wiper fluid and then push up for the front wiper fluid. And then we have our volume controls here. Track list or radio station presets are there. And then we can go through our different audio settings. So AM, FM, Bluetooth, all of that with that mode button here. And then we can use this to go through our gauge cluster. And we can scroll through each menu there. And then Bluetooth controls are here, voice recognition, and then cruise, click the button, set, resume, cancel, and then you can turn it off again there. And then we have the center differential lock here. And then this is actually, I forgot what it stands for, but I think it's like roll. Anyways, the side curtain airbags are deployed based on a roll sensor. So if it sends the vehicle rolling, a lot of the times they can deploy a few are getting pretty rugged, but you can turn that off by holding it and then they won't deploy if you're hitting a trail or whatever. There's our push button start there. Quick look at the gauge cluster. And finally, here we have our key fob. But next, let's go ahead and take this 2012 Lexus GX460 out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this GX460, I'm just so impressed by just the build quality of this vehicle. I mean, I've seen how long these can last, just the engine transmission without super expensive repair bills, but it's a Lexus and it just, it feels so luxurious just from the steering wheel, the wood grain feel, the heated cooled seats, everything is just top notch. And for this to be a 301 horsepower engine, it actually has a bit of pickup to be a, you know, somewhat large SUV. Now this one in particular, I believe it does need brakes about now, but just feeling a little bit of vibration there. sounds great and the shifts are just like butter they're so smooth but I want to see what it does in the manual mode now the shifts are not the fastest so it's more of like a, a suggestion so it's, they're not snappy, but it does eventually shift when you tell it to. It's just not quick to do so. But the ride is fantastic. I feel like I can feel the road, but I also am extremely comfortable. Again, the ride itself is smooth, but I can still feel the road in a good way through the steering wheel and especially if you want to use this to go off road for whatever reason it's nice to have that I guess dual capability of being a luxury vehicle as well as an off-road vehicle and road noise is actually minimal and then wind noise is surprisingly fantastic literally could not hear the wind at all. 
It looks like it died down, but still. Very impressed by that. Now, I like the GX460 a lot, and it's, I believe it was supposed to be kind of similar to the, I guess the luxury version of the 4Runner. And that's what this vehicle feels like, just much more pristine, if that makes sense. It's an off-road vehicle, but it's just so luxurious. And for the price point, this one's gonna be around, I think, 28 to 30,000. And honestly, for something that's gonna last as long as this, if you take care of it, of course, not a bad deal at all, especially all the luxury amenities that you get with this GX460. Again, heated cooled seats, your heated windshield wipers, universal garage door transmitter, sunroof, heated rear seats, rear AC. For 2012, this thing was pretty loaded out. And honestly, in today's world, it's still a super luxurious SUV. But just a great overall vehicle, in my opinion. And you can still see a lot of older GXs out and about with 300,000 miles on them where they're on their fourth or fifth owner and that person put a new front bumper on it and made it as off-road capable as possible. These things go forever. And that's that Toyota Lexus luxury. This is what you can expect from at least up until recently because they had the naturally aspirated V8s, the bulletproof six-speed automatic transmissions. So hopefully they'll be just as reliable as you start to see these twin turbo powertrains and 10-speed automatics. But this, the Tundra, the older forerunners with the five-speed, they just, they've made so many long-lasting vehicles and continue to do so. So me personally, I actually I shouldn't say I'm thinking about buying one of these, but I wish I could buy one of them because it's actually pretty practical, except on gas. But I mean, it's roomy. It's very capable in terms of off-road and it's just luxurious. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2012 Lexus GX460.